this isn't an electric bike. This is actually an electric scooter. And I've been wanting to check out some electric scooters on the channel for a while now. And Turbo Ant sent me over this X7 Max to go ahead and check out. And this is a electric scooter with a 10 amp hour battery. It's got a 350 watt brushless motor, 275 pound capacity, a claimed 32 mile maximum range, uh, 20 mile an hour top speed, and it folds down. Now, this one may have the honeycomb tires. I'm not sure this is what I requested because the honeycomb tires actually don't go flat. They're, there's no air in them, they're solid tires. And I wanted to check that out and see how that would do. But I think that if you are looking for something that's a lot lighter than an electric bike and a little bit easier to carry around with you than an electric bike is, I think a scooter could be a good option if you need it to commute or even just go out and have fun. So let's get this thing out of the box and get out riding it. One of the nice things about this being an electric scooter is that it's so much lighter than I'm used to with all these e-bike boxes, a lot less to deal with than most e-bikes. So let's get this thing out of here. Oh yeah, we can lift that up with one hand, no problem. And uh, now let's get all this packaging material off. Oh no. Look at the box out of the way. And we have a box over here. So this is the charger, 42 volt, two amp charger. Should be enough to get us scooting around town on this thing. And to lock these handlebars up, all you do is push on this and it should lock into place. And then there's this little silver piece right here that you pull up and then you can unlock the front handlebars like that. We're gonna keep them locked for now and get these handlebars installed on here. You can just screw them in here. Looks like underneath here is actually our battery and that's, I think the first time I've ever seen an electric scooter with a battery on the handlebars. I don't know, maybe I just haven't seen enough electric scooters, but to me that's interesting. They gave us this little key here that was attached to the handlebars and I think this is how you get off the battery. Yeah. So you just use that key to get the battery off and you can take the battery off and charge it separate from the scooter, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the charger so that we have a little bit of juice when we go out and take this thing for a ride. So this is what I look like on the scooter here. I'm 5'9 and I'm a shoe size nine and it seems like there's a decent amount of space. It's not the biggest, but it's comfortable enough to be riding around on, I guess. I fit on this thing fine, but if you have any bigger feet, then you might have trouble uh, getting them comfortably on here. I hate when stickers are like this. It literally just melted all that adhesive on there. Anyways, this is what your cockpit looks like. You got your brake lever up here and you have a bell right here too. And then you have your throttle here, obviously your power button and then probably some sort of menu button. The grips on here are actually pretty comfortable and the battery just snaps back into place like that and you can take the key out. So let's power this thing on. This button looks like it turns on the headlight. It does have a built-in headlight. It also has a built-in tail light, which is a brake light, and it flashes when you squeeze the brake lever. So back here, you can see we have a cable-operated uh, brake for the rear, and then in the front, we have the hub motor, and I'm assuming this is just a regen brake in the front. And this comes with three different modes here, eco, comfort, and sport, and to change that, you have to double tap this button right here, and it beeps. So I noticed that when I was pulling the throttle, nothing was happening. And you do have to give this a little assist out of the box. You do have to push off yourself. But if you want to change that, you just hold down these two buttons until you get to this screen. And then you change to P2. You press the power button and you switch that to zero. And then I'm spinning around. It changes the settings so that you can give it throttle without having to push off in the beginning. All right, guys, so just quick overview of the scooter. You can see we have our dashboard that we just went over here. We have our brake uh, lever here. And then we have our built-in bell, We've got our throttle. Uh, some menu buttons here on the power button. And we've got a hook right here, which I'm assuming is for a bag or something if you have it. And you have your key to release the battery. This doesn't disable the bike, this is just for the battery. Um, and then we have our 36 volts, 10 amp hour battery here. And then down here we have the kind of rubberized deck here and it is showing like footprints and stuff and it looks like it is getting dirty pretty easily. Again, we have a brake light that flashes. We have a fender back here for the rear wheel. And the rear wheel is a spoked wheel back here. Um, I'm not sure the size on this rear disc brake, but it should be adequate for this. And then we have our kickstand here, and then we have our front hub motor. This is a 350 watt hub motor in the front, and it should have regen, and I think this is like a little reflector. Another thing is this is a hardtail bike. This, there's no suspension on this bike. And also this does have the honeycomb tires, which are basically just like solid rubber, and they are very hard, so I think the ride on this is gonna be pretty firm. But again, um, we're not gonna be going very fast. It shouldn't be anything to really worry about, but we're gonna see how these honeycomb tires do. 
because it'll be really nice to be able to ride this thing without having to worry about getting flats. Anyways, guys, let's get this thing out on a ride and see how it does. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun to check the scooter out and go ride it around. Um, so let's go out there and do that now. All right, so we've been riding around the X7 Max for a few miles now, and it, this has been a really fun scooter. I, I like this thing a lot. Um, it's only 350 watts, 36 volts, but it's it's kind of nice to be on a little scooter like this and just cruise around. You know, it's, it's actually pretty relaxing riding around on this thing. It is com basically completely silent. Like, it's not loud at all. Uh, it's it's very different from the e-bikes that I'm used to to riding around and reviewing and everything One thing about the scooter though is I do have the honeycomb tires as I mentioned earlier You know and what that means is that there's no air in these tires. These are solid tires So one thing is you don't have to worry about flats, which is nice But on the other hand, you don't have any of that shock uh, absorption that you'd get from a regular air tire So, you know, there is that trade-off, but it is nice never having to worry about getting flats on this thing but that means that you're gonna have to ride this on some pretty even flat ground like I'm on right now. This is not really an off-road type of scooter for sure. Um, there is no suspension, like I said, on this thing, front or rear. So um, with these hard tires, you know, you're gonna wanna be on some paved paths or streets like this, but this is really more of a commuter style uh, scooter. This isn't really a, a scooter that's supposed to go fast or be crazy or anything. It, it's very smooth. And I'm going to just come from a stop here. Brakes are really good, by the way. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'm just going to come from a stop here. And it just sort of eases you in. It's very relaxing. You're not going to keep up with cars in this thing. You're not going to keep up with, like, traffic in the city. But you'll keep up with bike traffic for sure. So for, for this thing's intended purpose of, like, being a commuter-style scooter, uh, I think this, this does a really good job. And with a range of apparently 30 miles on these honeycomb tires, you can go pretty far on this thing. You should be able to get to where you need to go and back um, and not have to really worry about range. Again, that 36 volt battery is right here on the, the stem. So it is nice to be able to swap that out. Like I said, you can turn this key and the battery comes right out. And it's just really nice to be able to swap out the battery on a scooter like this. I mean, reasonably, if you did need to go further, you could throw this uh, battery in your backpack and you could have two of these things but I don't really see you needing to do that I don't think I'd want to be on this thing for 30 miles straight this screen is actually really hard to see during the day um, and another thing is this sticker that was on here it's uh, it's it's on there I really can't even see my speed in the in the sunlight but you can see it in the it is bright enough to see in the, the sunlight and everything and there is a battery bar there and your speed but it's a pretty basic screen otherwise if you double press the little menu button here you'll go into different modes and this is eco mode, I believe. And this one, you're only going a few miles an hour. You're only going about six miles an hour. So basically just barely enough to be able to balance. And if you double tap the button again, I think you can go about 10 on this mode, which this is decent if you're riding with people, I guess. You're not gonna be zooming past anybody and it's a pretty safe, comfortable speed. And then if you double tap it again, you will be in, I think sport mode is what they call it, but this is the, the top speed, the top 20 mile an hour speed limit on this thing. And this is where I keep it because 20 miles an hour is not very fast. But overall, um, the grips and everything feel nice. It feels pretty stable at speeds. I mean, if you, you know, you move those front wheels, you're gonna, you're gonna twitch. And if you hit any big bumps or potholes, you're probably gonna upset this thing pretty bad. But uh, overall, yeah, this is, this is comfortable, this is nice. I, I could see my feet getting a little tired uh, from standing on this thing for a while because there's not really much support on the, the deck here. It's just kind of a rubberized coating, which is very, it's keeping me on here nice, but uh, I could definitely see getting some fatigue. I, I can't imagine being on this thing for 30 miles, honestly. So like we saw back in the garage, you have your little bell on here, which is, is nice to have. Uh, sometimes these horns on these bikes and scooters and stuff are just so, uh, so harsh, you, you're gonna scare the heck out of people. And then you have your brake lever here. And braking is really good. I mean, coming from a stop from 20 miles an hour, you really don't need anything insane. Um, these are definitely adequate for this, this scooter. This is a really lightweight scooter. So it's you don't really need much as far as brakes go. This thumb throttle is nice. It actually feels really good. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, a lot of you know e-bikes and stuff have this cheap thumb throttle on them and it just feels like it's gonna snap off, but this one feels really nice. And for this price point of, of bike, I think that this thing feels really well built, really nice. And even though it would be nice to have some suspension on here, um, I think they make up for it with build quality and everything. You know, if you're in the city and you just want something to get from point A to point B and you don't want to bring a bike with you, this is really nice. Um, we'll actually pull over 
and fold this thing up real quick. Let's fold this thing down. Let's pull up on here and you can just kind of pick this thing up like this and th this really isn't that heavy at all i mean you're not going to want to like carry this around for very long but this is not like a ridiculously heavy uh scooter so if you do need to bring it inside you need to bring it to work or in the store or something like this this is is really nice and lightweight and i like the fact that it folds like this so i definitely like how portable this this scooter is it's really nice and it is a, a change of pace from the e-bikes that i'm used to where you know they're big and heavy so one thing that i want to do now is see how accurate the speedometer is on this thing so i got my gps up here and um, we'll see how accurate this is i'm gonna try to do this with one hand this is sketchy on a scooter but looks like we're getting about 18 19 miles an hour on the gps so we just dropped down to three out of four bars on the battery here and i'm assuming you could get about 20 miles of range on this thing since i am going full throttle i think that 30 mile an hour range is probably in like the first um the first setting the eco setting if you're flooring it like this you know you're gonna get less range coming up on this big bump here that i always hit on my e-bikes and oof, <laughs> no suspension on this thing is rough man <laughs> to have some suspension would be nice but these honeycomb tires are just basically solid so this is a little bit rough here but we're dealing with it. I want to take this thing off road, but I don't really think that this is what this thing is made for. So I'm going to avoid that for right now. All right, I guess we'll do a little bit of off road in here. Not what this is made for at all. And it's pretty much struggling. Barely made it up that hill right there. Yeah, this is not what this is. Off roading is not what this thing is made for, but I guess you can go on some grass. The ride sort of feels like those old Razor scooters that you had when you were a kid. It's about as soft as that. So you can imagine going over these bumps and sticks and stuff, uh, it's, you know, it's not super pleasant, but again, this, this is meant for smooth roads. So as far as the design on this scooter, um, I think this thing looks really good. You know, it's black and red. I, I do like the red accents. I'm a big fan of that color combination. So I do like how this thing looks and it's, it's kind of stealthy too, because you don't have like a lot of electric scooters will have a, a huge, like uh, deck that you stand on because the battery is in there but on this one since the battery is on the, the stem right here it's kind of inconspicuous and since the battery is so small too you don't really see it um, so I think the design is is really nice on this thing I think it looks really good I think the wheels look nice you know they are spoked wheels um, but it overall I do like the design on this bike and I think you're you're gonna blend in and you're not really gonna grab a lot of attention you know I see people riding electric scooters a lot too and they have like rainbow LEDs all over them and stuff and oh man you can hear my voice it's a little bumpy here but you know they have like these crazy rgb leds all over them and they're not very subtle and you just are attracting a lot of attention to yourself so especially scooters like this they're easy to steal and everything you can literally just pick them up and walk away e-bikes are a little bit harder to just pick up and steal but yeah overall i really do like the design on this thing and i think it's it's good for what it is it's so weird how how quiet this scooter is and it, it's weird in a good way because I'm used to e-bikes where you know you're making a lot of noise and there's a lot of tire noise because you have huge tires and wheels and you know the, the motors are really loud on those but this is just like this little quiet little scooter and you're just kind of quietly going down the road and it's it's nice now that we're back on some smoother pavement over here um, the thing about the brakes too is that there is no front brake apparently it's just a regen brake and you're using that electric motor to help you stop and I've heard that on older versions of this, people weren't really happy with the braking power. But on this, I can honestly say it's completely adequate. Honestly, it almost throws you forward a little too much when you, when you get hard on the brakes. Uh, but I mean, I'd rather have better brakes than worse brakes. So stopping from 20 miles an hour is not that fast. So again, the brakes uh, are good. All right guys, so so far I'm really liking this scooter. Um, I, I really love this thing. I've had other people ride this too and they've, they've loved it as well. Um, we've probably gone about six or eight miles now and I'm gonna keep riding this thing and see if I can wear the battery down and everything but overall right now I'm really happy with it if you do want to pick this scooter up there is a link in the description in the pinned comment where you can go and buy this from Turbo Ant's website um, again I think this is a really good scooter this this seems to be a pretty good value for what it is and I'm really liking this thing so far so I'm gonna keep riding this see if I can drain the battery down and see how many miles we get out of this thing but uh, I'll catch you guys later so we ended up going about 13 miles on this ride and I was riding around on one battery bar for a while 
I would guess that you could get about 15 or 16 miles out of the scooter in sport mode, just kind of flooring it at 20 miles an hour like I was. One thing that I also forgot to mention is that this scooter will definitely struggle up steeper hills. So keep that in mind if you live in a hilly area, you may want a more powerful scooter. Also, I will say that after 13 miles straight on the scooter, I was pretty tired, especially from that lack of suspension. And if you live in an area with rough roads, I would get something with suspension or at the very least, the version of the scooter with the air tires instead of the honeycomb tires. The display is basic but adequate and I didn't like the fact that the warning sticker that they put on left a residue and made it really hard to read. It would also be nice if they had an odometer on the screen. So I actually rode the X7 at night after I filmed this review and I got to test out the headlight and it was surprisingly good for how small it is. So if you're riding a lot at night you're going to be covered. Overall, I think this is a great scooter, and even though it's pretty basic with a kind of sluggish but adequate powertrain, I think it would be good for somebody who needs a basic electric scooter for short trips in like a city or urban area. So if you guys do want to pick up the scooter, you can use the link in the description. It does help the channel if you buy through that link, so I appreciate it if you do. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.